bit until blades changed. <coughs> Happy sunny Saturday, Saturday. A little, little, little. Let me do that again. Happy sunny Saturday afternoon, guys. As you can see, this is going to be another video on the errands, but it's not on the errands. It's going to be on blades. I haven't changed the blades on this mower since the last video I showed you where it says, no one told me beforehand I'm still pissed. These are the blades, if you go back and look, I think that video was done two months ago. And these blades have been on this machine. Though, matter of fact, these are the blades that were on that machine when I did that video. And you can tell how long ago that's been. Well, I'm going to save the best for last, but I'm going to take these, these blades off of here. And I'm going to show you in comparison how much longer they've lasted in comparison to the factory blades. Now, this is not a negative. I told you in my last video, or in the video that I showed you the deck, I told you I'm turning a negative into a positive. And basically, um, what I'm doing is I'm admitting my mistake. I should have never bought this machine for what I do. But again, I thought I was buying up in comparison to the Craftsman I had that I used for over three years. And there's a world of difference between the way that machine was built and the way this machine is built. That's not what this video is about. The one thing I've learned about my viewers and people that are attracted to my channel is y'all don't like vlogs. Y'all don't like me just talk, talking about random stuff, showing you stuff. You like subject-directed content. And that's what I'm trying to bring to you. So... Again, I'm trying to turn a negative into a positive. The negative being, I made a mistake. But I'm doing with this machine what should have been done with this machine from the factory. In hopes that errands will take cues from what I'm posting about this machine and changing them in the future. They will probably never make it right with me. So I've got to make it right for me. And that's what I'm doing. Um, I have had many comments that's a residential machine well you have to understand the machine I had was a residential machine also built by a company that has a bad reputation for building junk and I honestly thought because Aaron's made or Aaron's has the rights to sell gravely they don't build gravely let me make that abundantly clear they do not, they did not start Gravely. You have to go back online and read the story about Gravely. But when the Gravely family, when Mr. Gravely designed the first zero turn in the 1920s, it was all belt driven and chain driven. But over the years, everything has moved forward and progressed. Now everything is hydraulic. Well, except for the clutches, they're electric. But the, my point would be is over time they've changed and they have redesigned them, but they have stuck with the design standards that Mr. Gravely built his machines to. And then when when Aaron's, they had a lottery from what I understand. That's what I've read. Now, if you know different, let me know in the comments. But they had a lottery. And Aaron's Co. won the lottery on being able to buy the rights to the Gravely design, build them to those standards, and sell them on the market. But Aaron's did not design Gravely. 
Mr. Gravely designed Gravely. And that's that's the story on Gravely. You can go online and meet, read more about that if you want to. I'm not going to take the time in this video to go any further. This video is about blades, as it said in the intro. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the hours that are on these blades. I'm going to save that for last because I want you to watch this entire video. And I want you, excuse me, I'm sorry. I want you to see the differences between a hardened blade and a non-hardened blade. So I hope you stick around. But before we get into it, please, if you're new to the channel, be sure and click the like button and subscribe button. Click the notification bell. You know the drill. You know what to do. If you're new to the channel, thank you for being here. Please subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you be a part of the Big South family. If you're returning to the channel for the umpteenth time and you're already a subscriber, I want to thank you for your support. Without you guys, I couldn't do this. I wouldn't have no goal. And I so much appreciate your support to an old country boy from the state of North Carolina. I can't tell you what your support means. Thank you so much. But anyway, be sure and click the like button, subscribe button. Oh, and as you saw, you can find me on, you can find Big South Outdoors TV on Facebook and Instagram at Big South Outdoors TV. Just search me and follow me, please. But anyway, I'm going to get set up. I'm going to get this mower up on the ramp and we're going to get these blades off and get them changed. And then after that, I'm going to show you exactly what we're, what, what this video is about. I hope you stick around. All right, guys. Now, here's what I'm doing. Where's my blade at? This is an old copperhead blade. You can see it's eating into pretty good, but I'm mulching leaves. I'm, I'm trying to make sure my face is in the shot too so you don't see them from my chin down. These are just beater blades. They are perfect for mulching. They don't have to have teeth on them. They don't, all, they, all you have to be able to do is grind the material up. That's all you got to do. So I'm going to get these changed. And then once I do that, I'll show you the blade and show you the blades that are on it. And then we'll get into the meat, the meat of this video. For those of you that have asked these questions before and I haven't answered them on, on comments, and I, I, I so apologize, but these blades are held on by a 15 16 inch nut with a 5 8 thread hole. Oh Lord, this one's going to be hard. One thing I do like about Bravely over Aaron's and Craftsman and Husqvarna and all the all the rest of these companies that make spindles like use spindles like this, Bravely has a bolt. I lost there we go. Sorry, I lost my hook. Uh, they use bolts that screw up into the spindle, where these have a, a threaded um, end on them that you put. And if you don't get it just right, it won't go up on, go up on there anyway. And burn it. Ah, I'm going to have to get the other side. I knew I would. Case in point. That's why I don't like these um, type spindles. I'd rather have a bolt that goes up into the spindle. Now I've got to move back to the other, to the other side. Now, let me get back down here, get situated. trying to keep these blades where the camera will not pick them up and guys I run these blades this long for this video because I wanted to see with the same machine I wanted apples and apples I wanted a level playing field now 
Righty tighty. All right, guys, I've changed the blades, and I'm going to show you uh, the two factory blades first, or excuse me, one factory blade and then the other two blades, and to compare, hand me the straight into you and me. <laughs> okay, don't, uh, don't show it on camera. Hand me that one right there. Oh. Okay. Guys, this is an Oregon blade. It is made by the Rotary Corporation. I'm, I'm sorry, this is an Oregon blade. Um, it is a hardened blade. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how many hours is on this blade just yet. This is the blade I just took off the mower. Now, I don't know if you can see that lift edge, but it is just starting to eat away right there. And like I said, these blades have been on this mower. These are the blades on this mower when I did the, the second part of the I'm Pissed video. That tells you how long these blades have been on here. And, and Nate, have we mulched these blades? Have we mulched? Yeah, we've run over leaves with them. That thing doesn't exactly mulch. <laughs> well, it <laughs> slings more than it mulches. But anyway, we've been mulching leaves with these blades, cutting grass, mulching leaves, mulching pine straw, whatever we needed to do with it. That's what these blades have been doing. Now, let me show you the up. Uh, now, hand me that blade down there. No, 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 no. That one there. I'm sorry. The one you got in your left hand. I'm sorry. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't see the, the <laughs> sun was in my eye. Okay. This is a factory blade that came on this mower originally. You see the difference in the two blades? Had to ask me to stay out here when I don't have a jacket. Ah, uh, it ain't. It's, it's 50 some degrees. It's fine. Um, Look how thick your arms are, though. <laughs> but you see that blade? See how it's designed different? Now, I've had a lot of comments. Well, you need to run the, the appropriate blade on it to get the best performance. Uh-uh. No. These blades right here will cover you in dust and dirt and debris and all that. And if you look, these blades, the lift edges, are almost identical. I'm going to put it close to the camera where you can see it. The lift edge, the lift uh, pattern, the right here and right here are almost identical. The difference is this is a flat blade. The only difference between this blade and the, this blade is flat. Now the only difference in this blade and this blade is this blade is a quarter of an inch higher. So if you put it on three, you're actually cutting on three and a quarter. This blade is an inch lower, which means if you put the deck on four, you're actually cutting on three. That's the only difference. Now, here's the real difference. Now, here's this blade, and the reason I'm using this blade is because it's comparable. It, in comparison, it's about the same as the blade I'm fixing to show you. Now, the positioning of the blades has a lot to do with it. Your discharge blade is going to carry the brunt of the wear because it's the last blade and it handles all of the material from the other two blades. See, the outside blade only handles its material. The middle blade handles the material from the outside blade and its material. But the discharge blade handles the material from all three blades. And that's why it wears faster. Now I'm gonna show you a discharge blade here in just a second. Now, the hours. This blade, you can go back and watch my video. The, the, no one told me beforehand I'm pissed, the first one. It has 236,000 views. This blade has 19 hours on it. 19! And it's in that condition. This blade, in this condition, has 60 hours. And I could still use this blade, but I changed them. Hand me that other blade, Nate. 
I changed them they're for two, this. Two on the no, that one there. I changed them for this reason. This blade is the discharge blade. It's the blade that was in this position over here, where the where the discharge chute is. That's why it's in so much worse condition than this blade. This blade was over here on the left. If you're sitting on the machine, it's on the left. It's on your right, but it's to my left. Now, you see the difference in those two blades? That's the difference in the discharge blade and the blade of it, the blade that only handles its own material. But in comparison, 19 hours, 60 hours. That's the difference in a hardened and a non-hardened blade. So the next time you go buy blades for your machine, make sure you ask them, are these hardened blades? And I can tell you now to, to save you some trouble, your rotary copperhead blades are hardened. Oregon blades are hardened. USA blades are hardened. All your aftermarket blades are hardened. Now, what do I know? There might be little, 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 little. There might be some ladies out there that don't understand what? what hardened is. Hush. That don't understand what hardened means. Hardening a blade means they bring the blade, the metal, up to a certain temperature, usually between 12 and 1500 degrees, and they leave it there for a sustained period of time. And then they quench the metal. Uh, i.e. cool it off in a material that is laced heavily with carbon and what happens is when the when the metal the pores of the metal open up from the heat that's why they leave it there for a, a long sustained period of time to make sure all those pores in that metal are op wide open and then when they quench that metal in the substance i tell you a good source is motor oil, used motor oil but they quench it in a, in a substance that is, has a high carbon content and that hot metal automatically absorbs that carbon and that's what makes it hard. So anyway, I'm gonna get this thing uh, loaded and we're gonna get, we're gonna uh, get this video closed out. No. But anyway, we're gonna close it out guys. Okay, we got it loaded, or Nate got it loaded rather, and uh, that's going to conclude the content of this particular video. Now, why did I feel the need to do this? Well, anytime you're in business, the, the one thing you have to do is you have to learn where to cut corners, but you can't cut corners on quality. If you do, you won't, your business will not be sustainable. And I hate using that word, but that's the only word I can use. It won't be sustainable and you won't be in business very long. You have to find ways to cut your expenses so you don't have to charge your customers so much money. And blades that, la that may cost just a little bit more, but they last this much longer, that's a win-win situation. And that's why I felt the need to do this because I wanted you guys to see the difference in a hardened and a non-hardened blade. And I was not expecting those blades to last that long. And guys, believe me when I say, we have beat the living crap out of those blades. I mean, we've mulched leaves, we've moved leaves, we've moved pine straw, we've cut grass, we've cut fields. I mean, now I'm not saying to excess, meaning that's the reason why the thing is, is not doing well. That's not what I mean. I'm saying on the jobs we've been on, they have high leaf content and you are, or they have high leaf concentration and you have to move those leaves and you have to mulch them. Well, I need to find a blade that was, it may cost a little more initially, but they really don't. They're half the price. Um, the, the Oregon blade I showed you, they're $48 for three. The, the, your, the factory blade is 83 bucks for three. So, they're, they're half the price and they last five times longer. Well, let, let me say, 19 says 20 to 60, yeah, a little over five, five times longer. So 
again, that's a win-win situation. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you being yes. here. Really? <laughs> guys, he's been, in all fairness, him and Flossie both have been, they've both had the flu. Thank you, Lord. I got a mild case of it, but I kicked it in, in about three days. Floss is still not over it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something. I hope you gleaned some information from this that you can apply in your life or your business. Anyway, this is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV reminding you to live big, live southern, and live outdoors. Until we meet again, folks, have a good one.